Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend for Leo. Let's jump in for another run. Who are we going to play us this time? We did Tainted Samson last time. Hmm. Tainted Lost with recently. Um, Tainted Lilith, maybe? I want to do a Tainted character, but I'm not sure which one. I'm not sure which one. Da, da, da. We did Tainted Maggie. Tainted Judas is decent. Let's do Tainted Azazel. It's been a while since I played as him. He's pretty fun. I like him. I like his thin, thin beam. Which sounds slightly suggestive, but I do like it nonetheless. Um, let's pop this and pop this. Oh, wait. There's no bar no barrel there. You fool. But yeah. Little baby Azazel with his little baby burps and throw up. And his little pukies. Not too bad, not too bad. I enjoy him. I, I I just like the fact that this guy can benefit from Brimstone synergies early on. It's like normal Azazel can, but like not really. Whereas this guy can get the full benefit. Although obviously he does get the lower damage. Still, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. For today's question of the day. Ooh, that is a tough one. It's, it's difficult on days like this. Um, when I'm recording multiple videos in a day. Because I have to think of multiple questions of the day. Because normally, I like take an experience from the day. Or take something that's happened that day. And use that to base the question of the day. And honestly, finding that hard at the moment. Also, it's just difficult to remember what I've asked and what I haven't asked. So, for this one, let's just ask... Where is the last place that you went that you didn't enjoy? Whether that be a holiday, whether that be a, just a general location. Where's the last place that you went that you didn't really enjoy? Oh, oh, the double nickel. Wowee. That is really something. Let's just keep cursing this boy. You charge it up, you big fat bastard. What's it, what are you doing? Damn it, how did that not set you alight? Dude, what? He yeeted that at me. Well done, sir. Every two seconds, uh, damage is doubled for half a second. That's probably not going to be super useful for us. Just because it's hard to, like, benefit from that. Although, I could technically hold the brimstone and then use it at just the right time to proc it. Actually, do you know what? As, as this character, it might be a little more useful than it would be as a regular character, in fact. Because we can... The, the Brimstone lasts about half a second. We might be able to, like, time that just right to get some benefit out of that. Ah! Sneezed that fire right back at you. Good, good. I'll take this pill. Why not? Fish oil? I can't remember what fish oil does. I think it's, like, a tear size down or something like that. I can't remember. Something along those lines. Ow! How did that hit me? This, This is tragic so far. I am not doing so hot. I've taken quite a bit of unnecessary damage. Such is the way when you're special like me. But yeah, for the question of the day, I don't really have a specific place in mind, but I remember um, that my friend, this has always stuck with me, and I don't think it'll ever leave my brain. Dude, if I could stop getting hit, that'd be real nice. Ooh, yes, please. Um, yeah, um, one thing that has always stuck with me that my friend once said to me, is he's a big fan of football. I, I'm not personally, but he, he he watches the football quite a lot. Um, that's potentially good. Um, and he just said to me, he was like, I had to go to Milton Keynes to see a football match. That's a, a city in the UK. And he was like, it is the most dull, uninteresting, boring place I've ever been. <laughs> and I, I don't know why. I just found that really funny. Just absolutely dissing on Milton Keynes. So now, like, whenever Milton Keynes is brought up, I just think of it as this... Holy uninteresting place. Even if it might actually be a decent place, I just... Yeah, I don't really know. Um, I think I just buy the Soul Heart right now. Do you know what? I'll buy the Bomb as well. Do we want to try and look for Secret Room here? I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah, yeah. That makes me feel good. Ooh, lots more money as well. Lovely. Yeah, I really like Cricket's body with Brimstone. One of the things I was saying earlier about the bespoke synergies that we get to use with this. 
This is definitely one of them. We'll try for second secret room as well. I'm pretty sure it's here. Yeah, yeah. Don't you love it when you're right? But, big sad. This is um, a situation where we can't... The easy way or the fun way. I've got no way of doing this. You big fuck. I'm seeing if I can glitch this through the um, through the gap. I don't think I can. Balls. Right, hopefully we get like a matchbook or something. I don't know. See what we get from the next boss. Bloody you again, I hate you. But I think Brimstone's Curse plus Cricket's Body is going to lead to a lot of additional damage for us. Oh, we got into second phase already. Okay, yeah. It is. I I did hit him there, but I don't think I actually cursed him. I honestly don't think we're going to be able to curse him again because he has that surrounding fire. But as long as we play cautiously, it shouldn't be too bad to kill this guy pretty quickly. I mean, his health is already insta depleted. Ah, uh, we, we, we got the corn egg. Honestly, I don't like this. I'm going to turn it into stuff. That honestly wasn't as much stuff as I was hoping it would be. Uh, yeah, that, that, that really wasn't as much stuff as I was hoping it would be. The game wants us to do it the fun way. Let's do it the fun way. Eh. I can't really use that for much. Yeah, this active's decent, but... I have to admit, I was expecting to get a little bit more out of it, considering I'm trading away an item. It kind of acts like Tainted Cane does, doesn't it? By the way, no one has asked, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But for anyone that's wondering where Tainted Cane is, because I literally haven't played him on the channel since um, since the, the Dead God series ended, I just don't like him. He's just not fun to play as. <laughs> He, he, like, he was really, really, really fun the first few times when he had set recipes. But now he's just, eh. It's all a bit dull now. If I get some more health, I'll come back and open those spike chests. Because I would like some items on hit. Which actually kind of makes me sad I didn't pick up the dull razor now. That would have been pretty fun. Get some cool on hits and dull razor. That's a run that I haven't really had many times. I've had a few interesting dull razor runs. But I've not had a lot of, like, really cool dull razor runs out there. Good. That is lovely, and I think that should charge at just about the same rate as our brimstone, right? Pretty much. Not quite, but pretty close. Decent enough for me. Nice. Dun 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. I've learned all the Isaac music too much. There's an extra soul heart. Right, what If I get one more heart, I'll go do the spike chests. The bloody guys that kick you around can be a right pain in the ass. Almost popped me straight into that fire. The jar. That's the extra soul heart. Right, let's go back. Let's go back and grab it. Let's do this as well, actually. Why not? A straight profits, baby. Just straight profits. Bum, bum. Someone also made a keen observation of my um, stupidity the other day, and I'm going to Try to put it to the test in a moment. Eh, not particularly good. Let's take all these pills because there's so many here. Shot speed down, we don't care. Decent. Phantom pains. Phantom pains. Um, right. Go back over this way. Yeah, so someone made an observation that I was using golden hearts in a bit of a dumb way. Um, basically what I was doing with them is I was, um, I was just, uh, getting rid of them, like, on, uh, like, spikes or a fire to get the, uh, money. But what I should be doing is walking into enemies in order to, um, 
turn them into gold and get a bit more money out of it. So if I find a room that's populated, I'm going to run myself into them. It needs to be a room with a good amount of enemies, though. Like, th this room just isn't quite enough. So it does, like, a little mini AoE explosion, apparently. Wow. Right. See, this is a good room for it. See how we got so much more money out of that? See, it was all worth it. Copper bomb? Ah, you bastard. I tried with you, copper bomb. I tried with you. And this is how you repair me. Hey, we got the matchbook finally. <laughs> Asked for that a few floors ago, but hey her. Not terrible. And upon dying, eh, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to turn that into this. And it did adhere to the room code, giving us an eternal heart. Interesting to note. Pretty useful. Also got a golden penny out of it. Pretty good stuff. We've got plenty of keys as well, so we can crack these bad boys open. That one is tapped out, unfortunately. Damn it, both tapped out. Sadly, not not really what we wanted there, but we got the Eternal Heart. That, that uh, Undying Bird, or whatever it's called, it's good, but it's an upon-dying effect. And honestly, I'm not planning on dying, so... I don't think you need to kill the psychedelic mushrooms. Yeah, they just die automatically. Good to know. Dun dun. Doing pretty decently on this run, though. Today's been kind of a, a bit of a busy day. Well, I said busy day. I've been working to do this, like, wedding event thing at work that I've been mentioning, so I've been working on that all day. I ended up spending, like... A ridiculous amount of time and it's not like a it's not like it was insane it was like two hours but ridiculous amount of time considering how much i was meant to be spending making this fucking in wedding invitation like template thing that we didn't even really need i just wanted to make it look better and i spent ages making it in in game basically like a free version of photoshop and goddamn it looks really good but there was just no need to spend the amount of time i spent on it it was just for my own self-satisfaction and I could have gotten so much other work done while I was doing it. That, that guy's a goddamn corn boy. Goddamn corn boy. We got in here. Um, speed up is nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Genie lamp I do not care for. Cool item, but it's just not very useful. It's not really worth 15 cent. Oop. Ooh, hello. I'll definitely take them. Ooh, hello. Little fire throwers. Twisted fire starters. Okay, so bombs are going to be very useful here. Because they spawn um, locusts and their bomber boy bombs. All in all, very good. And we get range. I think I'm going to trash that one. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, honestly, trashing them that first time was pretty bad. The previous uh, the previous few times we've done it, though, it's been a lot better. Let's, uh, let's do this with a fool card first. Roll space, not bad. I kind of just did this for the golden bombs, but the item's also good. And we got a dime, and we got a soul heart. The golden bombs are especially very good for us right now. Um... We 
You see that? You see that legitness? I should have just full carded out rather than risking going back over the spikes, but it's done now. Justice. More golden bombs. Oh shit, I just realized my fucking bomb flies do massive bomber boy explosions. That's pretty funny. I can use uh, my, my sneeze to blast away the bombs as well, which is really nice. Boom, boom, bow. You think I'm going to do your puzzle when I have unlimited bombs? Foolish game. Why would I ever? Yep, we've got just an infinite farm of locusts here. It's going pretty well. Might as well pick up more bombs for the future floors. We can keep this trainer rolling. Beep. Really? A single half heart from destroying that? Wow. But yeah, we just go. Beep. Yeah, this is this this run's pretty set in stone. Pretty set in stone. But yeah, like so I was saying I've been working on that fucking wedding thing most of the day. And then I just went and took a break, played some Warzone with my friend. That went pretty well. We've been getting fat dubs. Many, many wins. Oh. Does this work the way I think it does? It doesn't, but it's still very good. It has unfortunately overwritten my brimstone, which I wasn't expecting. But it does work with Cricket's body, which is pretty cool. I'm a little annoyed that it does overwrite Brimstone, though. I thought it would work. Ooh, very good item. Give me a hug, too. And give me a Soul Heart, you legend. Really? I didn't even move it? Ooh, ooh. Might as well pick that up, see what we get. We get ourselves a double battery. Um, bombs will drop more often. Invincibility and teleport to treasure room. Spawn an extra item and reroll machine into the treasure room. We'll take that to the next floor. Do we have an next floor? We do, yeah. Oh, a little noisy mix. So cute. <laughs> But yeah, we're no longer, we've no longer got the Brimstone, but Hemolacria, one of my favourite items in the entire game. Um, and works very well with Cricket's body. Gotta say, it works very well with Cricket's body. And yeah, that Gorgon guy that we just got, fan-bloody-tastic. He will keep us going for many a moons. Oh, hello, sir. Dude, why did that bomb get pushed back towards me? What happened there? We're dead now, fool. I'll take that. Why not? It's an extra burn heart. We can fill it up straight away as well. And yeah, let's just pop our stars card straight away. We'll get an additional item and a reroll machine, which sounds very, very good. Stars. Well, that's definitely a must take. And this one I can roll. Transform enemies into poop. Hmm. We don't have a lot of luck, so I'm gonna I'm gonna forego that. Definitely not. Five bombs. Bomb explosions deal double damage to bosses. That sounds very good with the amount of bombs we have. Let's take that. Considering we've got the matchbook as well going on. I think it's only fair. We go with insane bomb run. The absolutely uber mega bomb run. Come back here, you. My Hemolacria will not let you escape. 
Don't catch you, Hemo lacking. How come this guy in the middle hasn't jumped yet? There you go. Just waiting for his moment. And then we got a spin down shard as well. Oh boy, that is quite something. I do love a spin down shard. Right, let's be on our way. 43 bombs so far. Surprised we managed to get as much use out of our active as we have. This is an active I normally don't use when I see. See, this guy freezing everything is just perfect. Beautiful. Dude, it seems that, like, each of the explosions, from it being um, the Mr. Bomber ones... Each of the explosions counts as a separate one and spawns a bunch of locusts, rather than it being one explosion. We got this dude. Uh, enemy projectiles are decreased in size. When enemies die, any projectiles I had left behind are removed. Seems pretty useful. Might as well buy the soul heart as well. What's this? We don't know. Let's grab it. Emperor? Uh, yeah, we'll just pop that. Why not? Bloaty, bloaty. Don't let me bloat your gut. Divorce papers. Don't mind if I diddly do. Extra fire rate is honestly something we're really in need of right now, so I do not mind grabbing that at all. When did we get a rotten heart? I don't know where we got that from. Bloody hell. Big John, I literally can't shoot past you, you fool. That damn Big John. I don't need you in my life right now. Oh, just a keeper. But what the hell's that? Sometimes the keepers kind of suss me out a little bit, because I'm like, whoa. Wait a minute. Are you an enemy? Are you something new? Nope. It's just a funky looking keeper. Got you, Big John is gone. And here's our boss. Alright, so let's use a boss on this fella, if we can. That was good damage. That was very good damage. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is this is gonna be good. We'll take this. We've got plenty of time to check our boss rush here. Um I think we just take the soul here. I think we can get Death's Touch here. Let me let me just check this out. Ah, balls, it's the wrong key piece. I mean, I'll grab that one anyways so that we can maybe get it next time. If we don't, you spin down here, that is. Bombs fill gaps. Uh, the Dark Crown, which is two Abyss Flies. Sigil of Knowledge, I've not seen that in quite some time. Bobby Bombs, yes, please. This is the bomb run that we need right now. So much damage. We're doing really good with just our tears anyways, but... The extra bomb damage potential is pretty awesome. Also, champion boss rush with all the repentance enemies. And, uh, Fiendfolia bosses. Something I've not seen before, I don't think. Not that I remember. So, pretty interested to see this. Oh my lord, you have been utterly and completely demolished. Good. good. Chubb, you have also been demolished. You're firing herming shots, then you? Ah, oh, balls! They both... Oh no, cool. The, the herming made it work. They all spawned, like, too far away, but the herming made it work. Don't worry. Bobby Bombs is pretty good. It's, it's a little annoying that, like, if you just get normal Herming, it gives it to your bombs anyways. With, like, Dr. Fetus, but... Bobby Bombs is pretty good regardless. Nice to have a separate item for it when you don't have Dr. Fetus, I guess. Ooh. This, this champion is pretty rough, so I'm gonna just bomb him. He just gets deleted, because the flies afterwards just do so much extra damage. 
And remember every two seconds we're getting double damage too, which I, I think is why sometimes I just delete a boss when I fire a Hemolacria shot. Every now and again, I'm timing it just right to like insta-delete whatever boss we fire at. It doesn't happen super often. Bad hit by me there. Good, good. It's the stain. And we got um weird weird gish here. Damn it, the bomb was not successful. This is a hard version of Gish. Calm that boy down. Yeah, this I love Hemolacria runs like this. Like I said, it's a little bit sad that it over at our brimstone. But I'll accept it. What kind of noise are you making right there, my good sir? Not the noise you normally make. There you go. You should get double bombed if we spawn a, a bomb fly. Wow, you, you just insta died. And we got kidney over here, which I'm just going to bomb. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. I timed that one just right. I saw the slightly bigger size of the shot there. Good, good. Probably only one or two more waves to go. Techno pin. You know, whilst I fought you. And it still will be a while, because I didn't really fight you there, is it? Did I? I don't see him very often on regular, like, boss rooms. I don't really see him in boss rush. Got another wave here. Oh, we got one boss here that doesn't have a, a boss bar. It's Plum. What the hell? Why didn't Plum have a boss bar? You definitely do. Strange version of Plum. It's an imposter Plum. Come on, we've got to be nearly done, right? Nice. There you go. Honestly, pretty good item as well. I, I should have checked what it spun, spun down into first, shouldn't I? That is a rookie mistake. Anyhow, let's continue on to the next floor. So far, so heckin' good with this one. You best believe. Best believe I like it. I just, I, right now, what I want is a renewable way to get bombs. At the minute, we're basically just relying on room drops to get bombs. And I suppose we do have our little um, thing for destroying items, but that's not really giving us guaranteed bombs. And also, it has a pretty high associated cost. But I'd, I'd like to find a more cheaper, renewable way of getting uh, reliable bombs. Because they are kind of the lifeblood of this run at this point. While Hemolacria is doing just a fine job on its own, I'm really enjoying the bomb combat, so I'd really like a way to, to boost that up a little bit. Keep that going. Let's keep her going. This has just come to mind for some reason. I don't know why. But um, in the, I think it was after the last episode or the episode before, I was talking about like what's a content, like what's the reason that you stop following a content creator. And I was struggling to think of examples, but I just thought of a really good one. Um, I don't know if anyone has or does watch Skip the Tutorial on YouTube, but my God, did that dude do an absolute fucking 180 degree flip on his content. Um, I used to sub to him because he used to do like niche challenges. Basically, he'd find like wrong ways to play games and like try to beat them in odd ways. And he did a Binding of Isaac one where it was like, can you beat the Binding of Isaac without shooting a single tier? And basically, he like found a seed that gave you Pyro and stuff like that. And it was really interesting. And he did like an, an Enter the Gungeon one where it was like, can you beat an entire run without dodge rolling? Um... And that one was really good as well. Uh, and he'd, he'd done quite a few others on different games. I really enjoyed them. And he did various other things as well, but it was all different sort of challenge videos. And now he is just a pure through and through Minecraft channel. Literally the only videos he does is like 
top 15 ways to kill your friends and top 15 creative methods to build your house, which honestly, I actually do like the videos. They're entertaining. I have watched them, like, I, I, I visit his channel every now and again and watch a few of them because I do think they are entertaining. But at the same time, they are clearly very child-centric and a complete departure from his old content. And it's just like, ah, uh, I get that he did it because it's where the money is. Like, it, it's it's clearly, if this is his job, he's got to he's gotta go with what, what gets him the best revenue and what, what keeps him going, keeps the lights on. But it is such a shame to see, like, a really interesting idea for a channel kind of fall by the wayside. Because the only other channel that sort of I watch that's similar to it is Let's Game It Out. But that's not quite the same. Let's Game It Out basically plays games wrong and he breaks them. But he's he's more about breaking them and, and finding glitches and stuff. And he usually plays, like, unreleased or indie games. Whereas this guy was making, like, unique challenges on how to play games differently. And yeah, it's just a shame to see that's gone. A few more bombs here, thank you. Holy light. Um, we've also got the uh, the blessings here, but I think we take holy light and then we bomb you. That's a lot of holy lights, and then beautiful death touch. Spin down is super worth just holding on to for that. The shard, at least, obviously, vanilla. You don't get the chance to do that sort of thing. But having piercing should be pretty good. Also, the bonus damage is nice. Which means we can hit big groups of enemies significantly easier. I love when you do that. You plant the bomb at just the right time so that Pin comes out the ground and just gets annihilated. It's so lovely. Not for Pin. For me. Not for Pin. I just love the fact that the Hemolacria shot can do so much damage as it's passing over the enemies even before it splits. It gives the, uh, like piercing you'd think wouldn't be that good for Hemolacria, but honestly it gives it a bit more utility. Because it's got the, pa the, the pass through damage. And then the actual damage when it explodes too. And with Cricket's body, the explosion's so large that it can land kind of far away and still deal good damage. Especially when we add Holy Light on top of that. Eyeballs. Fuck. The eyeballs always hit me. Oh, that one's still alive. Shit. I barely even noticed. Oh, ho, ho. yes. If we could get more luck, that'd be brilliant because the holy light shots are really doing a number. Any single tiny little pebble of our shot that hits an enemy still triggers the full holy light effect. Come on now. Enemies like this make me want to kill myself. And then we can just stand here to get pretty much a perfect swoop. Beautiful. I think we will do hush on this glorious of runs. Especially considering the bomb damage we're outputting. We should be able to kill him pretty quick with just bomb damage. Hopefully we get some bombs here. Um, we don't have a curse, so we'll take that for the extra stats. Pretty decent. Mum's wig, yes please. And bath bombs? Yeah, that seems decent for us. And not much there for us, really. Right, let's do it. Let's go. Take the first phase out normally, I think, and then we'll move in with the bombs after. Moving all over the place. Look at the amount of holy light shots that hit him then. 
Oh, it's beautiful. What a chain reaction. What a trigger. Ow. I didn't get hit there. That was a bit dumb. Oh, hello there. Yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. Maybe 10 or so bombs will kill him. Don't go underground, you fucking waste of space. Do my bombs not have herming? What's going on? Why aren't they herming in? Maybe they just have a hard time tracking this guy. Like, that one just didn't herm at all. It hit me. Fuck. Oh, dude, stop going underground at the perfect time to dodge my shit. Thank you for freezing him for me. Honestly, we've not killed him quite as quick as I was, uh, would have hoped for here. Still pretty quick, but I was hoping for, like, an absolutely insane kill here. Then again, the game is playing at 30 FPS right now, so we are killing him ha literally half as quick as it should actually be happening. And maybe if I haven't missed with half my bombs, because he keeps going underground and bullshit like that. Stop going underground. Can someone make a mod that just stops him going underground? It's such horse shit. It doesn't add to the fight at all. Right, good, good. He's dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh, where were you? That was a lot of fun, though. Just seeing all those bombs flying. I just wish he wouldn't pop underground so much and block my bombs. That's my bombage you're wasting there. Wow, 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 wow. Spoilers. Damn it. No right way, unfortunately, for us. We got a mega heart. Keep going. I wonder if we get any good Devil Deal items. Maybe getting actual Brimstone with this would be pretty insane. Let's hope for the best, shall we? We do have the Robo Fly to protect us as well. I kind of forget, forgot that we had that. Double wrong way. Huzzah. I love the little, um, the, the, the little ghost that's popping out of our head from the soul. If I remember correctly, these things are evil. I should, pick, I should pick up that red heart before I lose this burn heart, really. It would be foolish to lose it at this point. Thank you. What the hell? Pothead's doing... <laughs> pothead. I don't really mean to call him a pothead. He's not smoking weed, but you know what I mean. Got a lot of explosions going off. Oh, what the hell? Glitched pickups. We've got a soul heart of one of them. Crawl space. Three of a random heart. Ooh. Lovely. Nope, not worth. Apple of Sodom is good, but not worth my time right now. These burn fellas ain't gonna last long. I think this is the right way. Yes, it is. Good. I always say that and, like, immediately prove myself wrong, so I'm always hesitant to say it, but... This time I was more confident. You have been officially wrecked. As have you. God damn. Step on me over here, big, de big step, bro. Step on me. Ow. Kind of accepted that one. It's okay, though. 
we managed to get a good amount, a good amount of his health down with that bomb. So, pretty much a free pass. And what are we going to finalize this run with? Duality, useless. Hungry Soul, pretty good. Revenge, also pretty decent. I'm going to take Revenge and Hungry Soul here. Revenge is just basically a good amount of damage every time we get hit. It can annihilate things. It really can. Probably should be taking that bomb, shouldn't I? I think we're just going to beeline it straight to the lamb here. That we don't need to hang around too much. Just going to hope I go the right way. But honestly, I'm not feeling like this is the right way. But I've committed to this direction now, so I've got to continue onwards. But I'm not feeling like it's correct at all. Although, now that I see it a little more clearly, it might be. This, split, this, this, this pronged approach gives me hope. I've just seen this room. Bugger you. And you drop up the same thing once again. A hey, the immortal heart, um, immortal heart, sorry, is uh, doing us a good job. Hungry souls as well, really nice. In my opinion, a completely underrated item, and we did go the right way. Nice. So many hungry souls. Fuck me. It's time to get bomb blasted, my good sir. I don't care if you hit me. Cover the entire screen in shield tears. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that one. A very fun run indeed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.